Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what do they secretly want to tell you spread for all of my cancers out there. So, let's get after it. Here we go. <clears throat> Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Some of the cards I need to see. Some of the cards I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell all of my cancers out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my cancers out there? There you go. Some cards. Need to see there you go. All right, so one popped out, so we're definitely gonna take that one. All righty, so here we go. Here you're dealing with someone where you guys have everything you need to do to have a successful, robust relationship here. All right. So all the ingredients are in place here with this individual, with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is all about, you know, being comfortable in one's skin, um, being solidarily happy with oneself. So, in other words, in reference to this reading, you guys have all the ingredients you need to have a successful, robust relationship. Everything is in place, okay? Uh, and we've got the Emperor card here. Okay, Emperor card representing someone that is asserting oneself. So, this person is kind of like... Been pushing up on you a little bit, kind of been inserting themselves a little bit, using the emperor energy here, because you know they're and also they're comfortable in their in their skin too. This also this this person most uh, this person most likely uh, gives off somewhat of like bachelor bachelorette qualities as well. They've been they're happy in their own skin. They're 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 confident. They have they kind of have confidence in their abilities as well. Their abilities with relationships and are comfortable with their own skin. But on the same token, you guys have all the right ingredients to have a successful, robust relationship here. And they are asserting themselves with the emperor energy here. Now, we also got the two of wands here. Two of wands here uh, represents a situation where there are definitely two choices here. This person is like to be or not to be. That is the question. And so this person is definitely, um, you know, definitely has deci decided to make a choice to kind of go full throttle towards this relationship here. Um, however, we got the five of wands here as well. So this person can, uh, you know, this confidence sometimes can become a little bit argumentative, somewhat combative, if you will. Um, one may even use the words conceited um, comes to mind sometimes. But sometimes that's how this individual has a tendency to come off because they're very sure of themselves. They're very confident of themselves. So sometimes it can be a little bit argumentative, you know, kind of, you know, kind of disruptive disputes. It's one of them type of things where you, it's like, you, you know, you really dig the person, but they kind of got like a little bit of a prickish perspective as well you're like wow you know like why can't it you know why can't this just be the full package it's like a check it checks a whole lot of boxes and then there's like a red flag so that's what we're dealing with here now besides that here we have the four of wands representing they represent a very solid firm foundation here and you and there is an aspect of long-term committed relationship if you guys could kind of rough out kind of like sand out some of those rough edges okay and finally here we have the king of wands king of wands representing a situation in which this person is, is definitely forward thinking okay and it, it has pretty much projected okay where are things going to be things is kind of things are kind of cool other than that little you know this little kind of argu argumentative competitive aspects that we have right now okay you know but further down the line Three years from now, five years from now, you know, um, this person's thinking about the big picture, the macro, not the micro, the macro, the big picture. We have things going to be in a couple of years once we really get to know each other, th things really get to popping and moving along. So that's where this person's perspective is coming from. With that being said, however, let us see what the potential block is to the situation. What are the potential blockages here? To this situation, what are the potential blockages to the situation? 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 Here, here you go. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards that I need to. Ooh. 
Okay, popped out. We're definitely gonna take that. All right, so here you go here. All right, so these are the potential blockages. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen, all right? But these are some, some potential blockages here. So right out the gate, we got the sun card, happiness. Okay, you know, especially some some of that argumentativeness, you know, after a while that could kind of start to become a problem here. Also, we got the we got the eight of cups here where someone just says, you know what? I've had enough. I'm walking away. There's the potential there. Um things get too crazy. The potential for an individual to walk away from a situation absolutely exists. Um we also have here the Four of Cups, okay? Also being consistent with the Eight of Cups here where, hey, somebody walking away because somebody is offering their cup of love and it's, and it's kind of being like, you know what, thanks, but no thanks, you know. The arguments, the disputes are a little bit too much to deal with here, okay? That's if things kind of start going the opposite direction, okay? Because, again, if you guys could get past those arguments and disputes, I see things being very intense, very robust. But if you can't, then it can be combustible. And that's what you got to watch out for. Also, you have here the Four of Swords. Four of Swords representing someone that is contemplating, reflective. You know, there really needs to be some contemplating and reflective on one's behavior, exterior behavior, how, how it's being seen from the outside looking. And somebody really needs to kind of take the... Take the time here to, you know, look at, they're, they're maybe, you know, like look externally as well. Internally, they may be like, hey, I, I know what I mean. But externally, this is what it looks like, okay? And then somebody needs to kind of take stock of that, okay? Also, we have the three of pentacles here. So, there's a possibility there may be some type of work connection with this individual here. You may work with this individual. You guys may know mutual people that work in the same place with each other. So, it may be those type of things here as well, which also... That whole argumentative thing, mm, start messing with your pentacles, affecting your money, okay? Problematic. Also, we got the queen of cups here, loyalty, devotion. Now, because this person is uh, 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 um, does have some, some arrogant issues, and there may be an aspect of, well, is this person really going to be loyal and devoted to me? Because usually people that have this, um, have the attribute of being, you know, very self-assured and things like that, you know, for the most part, along with that usually comes an infidelity type of mindset. Doesn't always mean that that's the case, but those two things sometimes do go hand in hand, okay? So, um, there probably is, possibly is the fear of that. And finally, here we have the nine of Cups. Nine of Cups representing a situation where uh, a person having their wishes fulfilled. Like, you know, instead of the princess or prince is charming, uh, we get the nightmare. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is a possibility as well. So, with that being said, let's see what additional information is spilled on the report. Shut this thing down. What additional information is spilled on the report? Shut this thing down. What additional information is spilled what you get before? I call this thing a do. Here we go. Cards. There we go. 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 Spirit of Shane. Revision. Okay. So beware of an individual trying to make things a little bit more rosier than what they are. So about this whole arguments and disputes and things like that. Make sure that, you know... You don't let this person kind of rewrite things like, well, you know, I, you know, I was feeling this, but I meant that. Try to revise what they're saying to make it not to make it not to make it look a little bit more rosy than what it is. Okay, and just keep make, hold people accountable for their speech. However, put things in its proper context too. You know, don't let's not jump the gun here. Also, okay, that's why. You know, this aspect of if you guys got to be able to get through those conflicts and those disputes and those arguments to be able to, you know, you're going to have to be, don't let this person re revise what they're trying to say. Like, yo, this is what, this is, this is what it looked like you said, and this is how you were acting, okay? Let's just keep it real with that. But on the same token, you got to put things in this proper context and don't kind of jump the gun on things either. Kind of straddling the fence is probably the best way to go here. 
But until you're able to do that effectively, you're ready, but you're waiting. You're waiting and see Spirit saying, hey, pump the brakes on this. Just kind of see how this thing plays out. Let's see, see how the thing plays out here. All right, so that's what's going on there. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. A little bit of housekeeping here. Thank you guys so much for your well wishes about my daughter and all. Just let you guys know she has Crohn's disease. Um, it is hereditary. I've had problems in the past. Um, and I was kind of sort of diagnosed with it by a GI doctor, but it was in remission, but it is hereditary. So, boom, there you go. Um, hadn't thought of that at all. So, because her symptoms are a lot more severe than mine ever were. So, there you go. So, with that being said here, uh, I would definitely make a whole other video uh, about uh, the pro what's going on and all that and keep you guys in the loop. Most likely, they'll probably be sometime in the middle of March when we find everything out, speaking with the doctor and all that kind of stuff and the medication she's going to get. I was able to treat mine with herbal medicines and things like that, um, you know. The shaman ain't the shaman just for the name, yo. I have I have done some research and things of that nature and experimented with myself. So, um, I will definitely keep you in the loop with that. Thank you so much for all your well wishes. Okay, now back to the reading. Um, this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, I will leave a link down in the description box below. Make sure you guys get yourself a personal reading. If this doesn't resonate with you, that's fine too. Just take those parts of this reading that do, if any, and disregard the rest. Also, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It really helps the channel, but more importantly, it helps the algorithm really pick up my very unique style of tarot readings and push them out to the others that may be interested as well. So my name is Adonis. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.